morning YouTube. Uh, this is the Hiking Viking. Uh, this morning we're headed to Steelhouse Hollow Falls. I'm going to try to get in a quick little uh, out and back this morning. Um, it's not a very long trail, but it's um, it's only like 10-15 minutes from my house, so that makes it kind of easy. I've got other stuff I've got to do today too, so i got to <clears throat> get in my my outdoor therapy a little bit um, but yeah still house hollow is pretty awesome that it used to be a moonshine still way back when and um, there was a house down there and now you can't see that the house isn't there anymore it's all like pretty much falling in and everything else but the chimney and the fireplace are still there um, and you can kind of see where the house like the outline of the house where it used to be but yeah it's right up right here between Mount Pleasant and Summertown Tennessee and it's a I haven't gotten a chance to get down in there and like really explore all the trails yet uh, apparently there are a good many down there and um, it's down in a gorge but um, the waterfall is about 50 60 feet and it's just it's really beautiful down there uh, it's gonna be a little cool this morning uh, it's crazy because you know here in the south if you don't like the weather wait five minutes because two days ago um, you know we were pushing mid 80s for highs and uh, today it is well outside it's uh, 44 degrees so yeah um, and I, I think the high for today is like 65 or something so it's nothing um, you know here that's just how it's going to be um, the weather fluctuates so much I'm bringing just a few things with me uh, anytime I go hiking I always take a few bare essentials um, no matter how far I'm going so uh, probably this afternoon may do a, uh, a gear video Yeah, we'll uh, get uh, get here and get started. We'll show y'all some of the trail. Okay. So we made it here to Stillhouse. Uh, this is the parking lot. It's kind of great coming out here in the morning because, like as you can see, there's one car in the parking lot. So pretty much gonna be by myself, which is the way that I like it. So not that I don't like people, but you know, when I do this for outdoor therapy, I just like I don't know. I just like being by myself. Um, so here's the, the sign coming in. Um, so yeah, big natural area. And um, it's pretty well kept. Um, I mean, I, I drove by here last weekend. I was coming back from Mississippi. I uh, went down there to the farm and uh, did some work, put up a deer stand. And, um, I set out a game camera just to see what I've got moving through that area and when I came by I want to say it was probably like 3 in the afternoon when we came through here and cars were lined up down the highway because the parking lot was so full so here's the when you come in pretty much to the trailhead on this. So, it's a, uh, it's a nice spot out here. So, so, it's a pretty good, I think the, uh, the elevation change is only something like 300 and something feet. So, it's not too much, and that's over over like about a mile and a half and that's out and back so this is pretty short um so yeah it's not it's not long um the only reason i bring my backpack with me is mainly for water um i suck a lot of water when i hike so um yeah big guy so i'm thirsty all the time um but yeah, and I'll just bring a few other things like 
this morning with the weather. I know how chilly it was going to be down here in the in the gorge, so um, brought my puffy just in case. Um, I've had this micro fleece thing for years. I think it's it's a Drake waterfowl. You know how duck hunters are; they get out in the severe cold and shoot ducks. So it's one of my favorite layers. But um, yeah, so unlike the pants that I wear. Like, it's crazy. I've had them for, let's see, when did I buy them? I bought these in 2001 from REI in Atlanta. And they are ex officio, which I'd never heard of them before. <clears throat> but apparently, they're a high dollar pair of pants. So I think they're over 100 bucks normally. And I bought them in 01 from a clearance rack in REI for 20 bucks because the label was put on upside down yeah the label is upside down so hey at least when I look down I can tell I'm wearing ex officio pants but but no I mean I don't ever pay full price for anything so I uh that's when I'm gonna find deals on stuff so and like my t-shirt that I wear um I got it from Walmart uh, like seven dollars and I wore it they don't last all that long I mean it's seven bucks you know I mean how long do you expect a seven dollar shirt to last um, but when I went to the Smokies back in April um, I got one then and it was perfect it was so it was just as good as one of those $40 um, mountain hardware shirts that I used to wear all the time and uh, so yeah, I, uh, I'm always looking for, for deals. I can't afford all the super high dollar stuff unless it's like on clearance or something. So, ugh. and spider webs. Um, but, uh, anywho, so we're coming down here. We're approaching the river, the creek, or whichever it is, I forget the name of it. Right. So you can start hearing the water flowing now. Yeah. This is the view coming down. But yeah, it's really nice out here. Um, yeah, we're only, I don't even know if we're a quarter mile in yet. And you come down here, it's a pretty decent drop to here. I know the hike out, like, the hike out can be, if you're not. If you haven't been doing it a good bit, it can. I can get kind of winded sometimes, you know, doing it, but because you have to come down to here, and the other side you hike along the river a little bit, and then when you get to the falls, you have to drop down, um, and then you cross the river and go down to where the falls are actually at. So yeah, this is. The creek here, they got a handy dandy bridge right here. So they don't have to get all soaking. But so it's in the stream and going downstream. And they put this walkway right here. Because it does get sloppy through here, so um yeah. Anyway. Get, get back at it for a few so we haven't been going very far and we're already coming up to the overlook of the falls so, down here. It's a really nice spot out here. Nice down the gorge there. Good down here too. Went to the top of the falls. When you get in here, 
and get into the canopy. No direct sunlight. It does get rather warm, or excuse me, warm, rather chilly, especially with the water rushing through. Yeah, can come right up here to the flowers. Well, here she be. And we'll go down there. So, yeah, the, uh, the old still house is about halfway between the falls and the other bridge where you cross. So, yeah. So, not a bad little spot if you need to come out and just do something kind of quick. There are other trails out here, but um, I have yet to have really explored them. So, um, maybe one day I'll have more time. Now we are down at the bottom of the gorge and walking to the falls along the river. And, uh, there's a little bridge back there similar to the one that we crossed coming in that takes you back on this side of the river and down to the, down to the falls. And it's been, it's been nice. Um, the uh, the descent coming down, my knees are shot. Okay, so like I don't trust my knees hardly whatsoever. So that's why I hike with trekking poles everywhere I go. And um, so like I was a catcher in baseball, and uh, when I was a kid, and then um, I tore them up when I was in the Marine Corps and that's why I got discharged from the Marine Corps so I don't trust my knees coming down going up I'm generally fine coming down not so much uh, I won't own a two-story house because of it um, I had fallen down the stairs at my old house several times uh, two of which I had my son in my arms so needless to say me and stairs and descents don't get along but this is the old that's the old steel house in there. So you see the old fireplace and stuff. Really not much, not much to it anymore. But yeah, they cook the moonshine above that fire. But we're approaching the, the falls now. And yeah, just kind of kind of pulling along. Yeah, the, the hike out won't be too bad. I mean, yeah, you get a little bit of a muscle burn, but that's a major. Yeah, but yeah, coming in, I um, always hate doing descents. But I guess I'm a glutton for punishment because my favorite place to go backpacking is the Smokies. So, you know, in the AT section of the Smokies, it is relentless. Um, so, but hey, if you want the good views, you gotta put up with it, so I guess I just deal with it. So, but here are the here are the falls. Right up here. A lot of times on weekends, probably around lunchtime, this place will really fill up with people, but yeah. Nice little gorge in here. Come down here, get in some some outdoor therapy. Right. It's uh Yeah, it's really nice out here. So uh, well, I'm gonna take a break for a minute. And enjoy this. Okay.
I didn't get this on the way in, but there's another little small waterfall right here. If you keep going down, there's a big one down there. But just got done with the first ascent to the top of the ridge. And now we have to go along the upper portion of the creek. And uh, then after we cross it again, it'll be, we'll have to go back up where we came down at. So here's the, uh, the first bridge that we crossed coming in, and right up here. So, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, coming out wasn't that bad. Broke a sweat, you know. Forty something degrees out here, sweating bullets. That's the thing that that's what's crazy about hiking is a di like some people compare it like you know, oh it's just walking. No, not quite. So I know one trip I was in the Smokies, and that was I think 2000. Yeah, 2005. Um, I was in the Smokies here in spring break, and there was almost knee-deep snow for the most part. Um, we started at Newfound Gap and then went north to Davenport Gap. I forget how many miles it is, but we were out for three nights, and uh, but it was knee-deep snow pretty much the whole time until we started descending from descending down into Davenport but um, we were sweating boats we'd start the morning like it would be in the we would get started it'd probably be I don't know like 37 degrees something like that and uh, we would be in our pants boots um, base layer uh, fleece jacket because this was back before puffies really started coming out um, and then like a Gore-Tex jacket on that toboggan and gloves and within a quarter mile we were down to pants boots t-shirt do-rag gloves that was it and we would be sweating like crazy so, but it was fun ready to go back but yeah we're coming out now and it's kind of it can be kind of confusing in here sometimes because the uh the deer trails you can easily confuse them with uh the hiking trails so. uh, yeah this is I'm trying to remember where i came down at but anyway well this is a good hike this morning glad uh glad y'all are able to join um don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and share it with anybody that may want to see it. Y'all have a great day.